Hi. So uh, this is the last uh, part of this uh, video that is tips and tricks to JEE mains regarding mathematics. In this, we'll be talking about vectors in 3D. Now, see vectors in 3D. Uh, say again, you can expect two or maximum three questions out of 30 in JEE uh, mains. Okay. Uh, vectors uh, and 3D is like a topic which is done towards the end of the syllabus in most of the coaching institutes. Okay. So students don't practice it a lot and then they find it difficult. But actually this topic is not that difficult. You just need to, uh, uh, initially you need to read theory. You need to mug up all the formulae and then you just go through or you just look some 30 to 40 solved examples. Don't try to solve them. Just look 30 to 40 solved example on these two topics. So that you will get the confidence. Okay, now how to solve these questions. You know at least that this method will questions ke answers. Aane wala hai. Okay, so that, would, that should be the strategy. Work more on this topic. These are also scoring topics. You might find it difficult initially, but once you understand the concept and how to convert a question of vectors into three-dimensional geometry and a question of three-dimensional geometry into vectors, if you, if you understand that link, it will become very easy. Regarding vectors, you focus more on uh, geometrical interpretation part of it. Like equation, uh, condition of collinearity, condition of coplanarity, equation of a line uh, in vector form, equation of uh, plane in vector form, uh, distance between two parallel lines in vectors, distance between uh, two skew lines, okay, non-intersecting, uh, non-parallel lines. So, these yes, are formulae, these yes, are methods, samajno. okay. In three-dimensional geometry, um, if you talk about plane, now equation of plane in three-dimensional geometry is very very similar to equation of line in two-dimensional geometry. That's why you have seen that in 3D, the plane of the plane, they are very much uh, relatable to you know uh, equation of line in two-dimensional geometry. For example, this is the intercept form of a plane. In 2D, this is the intercept form of a line. So, this is plane ke jitne formula hai. equation of angle bisectors of a plane. Okay, distance of a point from a plane, distance between two parallel planes. This sub formula as it is 2D geometry ke straight line ke formula. Just take one dimension, it's my other. Okay, so 3D, mein, uh, I would suggest ki you try it. There are no uh, too many shortcuts in these two topics. You just try to understand the concept, read and revise and again and again uh, you try to find that link between vectors and 3D. Like for example, uh, as a straightforward question bhi aaya hua hai ki if this is equation of a line in 2D and then there is another line. Okay, so what is the distance between two lines? What is the shortest distance between these two lines? Now, of course, if these two lines are going like this, the shortest distance will be along the perpendicular. So that is called distance, shortest distance between two skew lines. It's a 3D geometry mein bahut complicated formula. But if you can convert these two lines in vector form, then there is a better formula or comparatively easier formula for this. So in vector form, we write this equation as R. Okay, that represents a random variable vector on the line equal to A. A means the point where the line pass over. Now in this case, the point is 1 comma minus 1 comma 1. So 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 in vector it will be I minus G plus K. And plus lambda times the direction ratios of that line. Like in this case, it is 2, 3, 4. So you can easily write equation of a line in vector form. Yahan pe wo point aega, aur is bracket mein wo line ka direction ratios aenge. Similarly, you write the equation of the other line. So that will be minus i plus j minus k plus lambda 2 times i plus 2j plus 3k. Now once you write lines in vector form, okay, this is called A1, this is called A2, this is called B1 and this is called B2. A1, A2, B1, B2. And the distance between the lines is represented by, is given by this formula. A2 minus A1 dot 
b1 cross b2 divided by modulus of b1 cross b2 now that is much simpler to calculate in vectors so this question can only be solved if you know how to convert equation of a line or plane in vectors so use this this is called distance between this uh, two skew lines in case this comes uh, zero that means the those two lines are intersecting so just revise the theory just solve variety of questions in vectors 3d and try to find that link between vectors and 3d okay now here i would also like to talk about the uh, two more topics which are not there in je advanced syllabus but in je main syllabus that is logic and statistics logic ka question koi galat nahi karta hai okay it's a very easy topic it will take hardly one day for you to prepare for logic and you have to make sure that you solve question correctly in je main it's a like bonus four marks similarly statistics is also very very formula based you revise mean you revise median you revise mode and then um, variance standard deviation mean deviation inke formula yaad kar lo iske baad question nahi aayega so that is all uh, from my side regarding uh, mathematics of je mains okay all and all it's all about the uh, speed and accuracy there is no uh, variable pattern like je advanced ki there are paragraph based questions there is uh, matrix based questions it's a single pattern 30 questions all single answer correct so fast be fast and be accurate so best of luck um, and as i said you can uh, visit us on youtube you can uh, subscribe to our channel on youtube or you or can like our facebook page that is vidyalankar classes and publications in case you have any further queries you can whatsapp us on this number that is 902 953964 so that's all from my side signing off thank you